back on Sportsline, and as promised, we will get into David Poyle and Philip Forsberg in just one moment. But while the Forsberg deal got done over the weekend, final hours today to get a deal done or all these players become free agents and walk into the free agency period where they can test it out and choose to go elsewhere. Evgeny Malkin going to do that in Pittsburgh. We've seen some other guys who are truly going to test those waters. But one guy that everybody was watching, what was going to happen, Johnny Gaudreau, 100-point scorer in Calgary, has had a great career, has played all of it up there for the Flames up to this point. They did not get a deal done today, which means Johnny Gaudreau is going to be a free agent tomorrow. He's going to test the market. I guess it doesn't totally rule out the shot that he can come back, though. If you listen to the GM tonight talking about how they didn't get the deal done, it does not seem likely that Johnny will be back in a flame sweater next year. Where he ends up, anybody's guess, but that is a big-time offensive talent that is hitting the free agency market now. Maybe in a year that no one expected that to happen. Meanwhile, Philip Forsberg signing here in Nashville for eight years, $68 million. It's less than what Roman Yossi got. It's a little more than what Matt Duchesne and Ryan Johansson got, which seems about right. Yossi's the captain. He's the best player on the team. Forsberg's the best scorer on the team. I know Duchesne had a great year last year, but uh, Forsberg has consistently been the best scorer for the Predators over his entire eight years here. And they expect him to be that now for the next eight years. And Phil Forsberg, just really awesome opportunity for him to come back here and great for the Preds to be able to keep him. And David Poyle, Philip Forsberg discussed that on Monday right after Phil's bachelor party got done. Not, not a bad couple of weeks here. He's on a bachelor party in Spain his agent hands over a piece of paper for him to sign outside like a coffee shop or something like that. The deal gets done. He's got $68 million on the way over the next eight years, staying in the city he loves, and, and he gets married next week. Pretty cool. Pretty good days to be Philip Forsberg, I would say. And here is the Predator star and GM David Poyle talking about the contract. Uh, welcome, uh everybody uh exciting time for the for the predators uh we just got back from montreal where we had the uh, entry draft and obviously we're very happy with what we selected there our scouts are doing a great job and then i just ran upstairs uh, to get on this call because our development camp is starting <clears throat> today and we got 36 uh, young young guys uh downstairs that are ready to prove that they're nhl uh, worthy so for any of you that would like to beat the heat and want to get their hockey fixed uh, they're going on the ice at three o'clock at centennial today uh but more importantly uh it is my pleasure uh to to announce and uh that, that we've signed philip forsberg to an eight-year contract for 8.5 million per season uh philip as as we all know is clearly one of our best players clearly one of our best offensive players in the history of our, our franchise and I, uh, I'm totally expecting that he will be an integral part of our core for the next eight years. And uh, he's a lot of records are going to fall uh, uh, in terms of any, any other offensive records that the Predators have. Philip is going to hopefully have all of them. And some of that will lead into winning hockey. And hopefully we'll be working together to do something special here, like, like in winning the Stanley Cup. Um, uh, as you know, he, you know, he and Dutchie got 40 goals last year, the only two guys that scored that that many goals in our franchise history. I mean, from my viewpoint, uh, Phil's talent is evident every, every night. There's always always something that Phil does that nobody else on our team uh, ca ca can do. And often his goals and his offensive things that he does out there are spectacular. So um, like I said before, I think uh, this next eight years, Phil, who's already a huge part of our team, will become even more important part of our team. And uh, from leadership to mentoring to uh, to winning hockey, we certainly expect that Philip will be all part of that and contributing on a high level. Uh, I know that this has been uh, duly reported in the in the press, but yes, uh, these negotiations were took a little bit longer than I think either side had anticipated or expected. But you know, having said that, these are pretty complicated negotiations. And there were a few things that were important to both sides that you know took a while to to hammer out and. Uh, 
I, I would like to thank Phil and his family for their patience, and I'd also like to thank our fans for for their uh, for their patience. So, you know, we wanted Phil to be part of this franchise for the long term, all along, and you know, we did did our best to make sure that he knew that every step of the way through that through the process. Uh, as most of you know, Phil and his fiance Aaron are getting married in a couple of weeks, and uh, after that, they're focused on uh, putting down more permanent roots. I guess you would say in, in Nashville. And you know, you know, not only you know establish themselves, which Phil has done, but also continue a lot of the stuff that they've they've done off off the ice in, in our community. And so, uh, you know, we're we're excited about that. I talked to Phil a little bit about uh, you know legacy, and I think legacy is you know what you do on the ice, what you do off the ice. And Phil has certainly already done a lot of that in, in both of those areas. But with this next eight years, um, you know, Phil should certainly be as what I like to call a legacy player with our our franchise and. You know, similar to what Pekka Rennie did in, in here both on and off the ice and what we all see now what the Roman Yossi is doing uh, both on and off the <clears throat> off the ice. Um, so as I said all along, I mean, we never had another plan. Our, our, our plan A, B, C, and D was from the beginning was to this offseason was to sign, sign Phil. And I think, uh, you know, by checking that off the list and adding an excellent defenseman in Ryan McDonough before the draft, I feel we are a better team than... Uh, and how we ended the season. So, Phil, uh, congratulations. Uh, you and I have talked a bit in the last uh, month or so through these negotiations. I appreciate how you handled these, the situation. And uh, uh, and we we never varied from wanting you here, and you never varied from wanting to to be here. So so congrats to you, uh, uh, Phil. And I look forward to working with you in the next eight years. And let's see if we can accomplish something really good together. That's it for me, Nick. Thank you very much, David. We'll uh, open up the questions now. Uh, if you could please just let us know who your question is directed to, um, that would be awesome. We'll kick it off with uh, Zach Gilchrist uh, from Preds.com. Hey, Phil, congrats on the contract. Uh, as David was kind of saying, there's been a lot of speculation and a lot of noise around this for a, a pretty long time. So. How does it feel to, you know, have that finally signed and, and be able to kind of look forward to staying in Nashville? Uh, I mean, it feels great. Obviously, we're, we're very excited. Uh, me and Aaron and, and the rest of my family, and her family, we're all, like I said, we're all very excited to continue this journey together uh, with the team. I mean, we, like I said, like David said, too, we've been working really hard for, for a little bit of time now to get to this point. And, um, yeah, obviously, we... We're very excited, very, very happy with how everything turned out and uh, looking forward to get to work right away. Chase McCabe. Yeah, um, I'd actually like to hear from both of you on this, but Phil, I'll start with you. You know, David said the negotiations took a little longer than expected. Was this process maybe more difficult from your seat than, than you had expected going in? Yeah. Uh, a little bit, a little bit. I guess you can say yes and no. I think, like I said, it's it's a big deal for for me. It's a big deal for the team. It's one of those uh, things that you need to get right, and uh, those things do take time. I I think obviously my agency has been very experienced with dealing with this, and so has David and the rest of, of the management. So I think everybody knew what steps had to be taken, and at the end of the day, we we reached the result that we wanted. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very good feeling. Yeah, I, I think I said that Chase too. I mean, again, these are complicated negotiations, and there's there's things that you you know you don't know, like things that we might be trying to do, and one thing might affect another thing. But I really think the bottom line, the most important thing on this, uh, of course, we got it done. But I don't think either side varied from wanting to to be here. I mean, again, like I said, we didn't have another another plan, and I, I you know Philip can speak for himself, but uh, in any discussions I had with him. Um, we just think we had things iron out in the contract, but nothing about oh, I'm going somewhere else or what have you. So, all in all, it's uh, it's over. I've been in a lot, a lot of these, unfortunately, over the years. And Philip, uh, the next time we have to talk about this, uh, if you want to play into your 40s, it'll be a while off. So I think we're all good. <laughs> all right, we'll go to John Glennon next. Hey, uh, I wonder if, uh, again, I wonder if both of you guys maybe could address this, and, and uh, I, I know you probably can't get into, into too many details, but uh, is there one or two things maybe that helped you guys cross the finish line, so to speak, after, you know, after several months of, of negotiations? 
Um, I'll, I'll go again. Again, it's, it's sort of the same answer all the time. It's, it's, it's complicated. It's, there's different different things. We're dealing in the cap world or, or, or what have you. you. You have various and different different ideas, and it just it just took a while. I mean, I can Phil, you can speak, but I always felt that we were going to get it done. Um, again, I, I wish my life. Uh, There's a lot of things I wish that came in a in a little bit faster or in a different form. But I think the most important thing is here we are today and we got it done. Yeah, personally, I, I agree exactly with that. There was never any doubt that we wanted to come back. And yeah, it just takes time. I mean, there's different certain circumstances with everything. There's yeah, I mean, David Scott obviously a whole whole lot of other dudes that he has to has to talk about and think about too. So it's not like we can just believe those guys it's it's been a, an ongoing process but i think it's been a good process from from day one all the way until now thank you we'll go to robbie stanley hey philip congratulations i'm just curious from your your standpoint how, how important was the direction of the team and just the direction you feel like you guys are heading as a group in your decision uh it was yeah i mean it's up there probably honestly the most important thing because at the end of the day you're you turn 28 this summer, you want to achieve things. We've, we've been close. We've had a really good team over. I've been lucky enough, obviously played, played in a lot of really good teams here, but we still haven't taken that final step. And, and for, for me, I mean, you look at the team and, and the moves that was been made in over the last few years. And, and obviously the season we had last year, uh, I think this team is trending definitely in the right direction. And that was a huge part, uh, for me, like I said, in my, my, uh, age, you obviously can't take anything for granted. I'm not, not old, but I'm also not a rookie anymore. So you need to do everything you can and surround yourself with the best possibilities to win, which goes on the ice and off the ice. And with this decision, I feel like we've done that. I mean, this team is, is trending in the right direction. And like David mentioned, bringing Ryan McDonough on board, who's a player that clearly has done done exactly what we're trying to do in this team and, and been a key part of it too. I think that's, a, that's something that we definitely can build on. And it'll be very, very exciting to have him alongside us this year. Thank you, uh, Jared Stillman. Yeah, David, help me understand. So you said at the press conference uh, after the season that you did have backup plans, plans B, C, and D, but then said that your only plan here today was to sign Phil. Was that all just posturing as for a possible deal, or what went into that? You, you know his agent listens to everything I say, Jared. I mean, yes, I was just posturing. I mean, again, the, the uh, uh, that was... The plan all along was to sign sign Philip. Philip knew that his agent knew that, and we just had to work through some some uh, some things. Thank you. Go to Alex Darty. Uh, yeah, Philip, congratulations. Um, listen, you've been uh, pretty pretty out there in the public eye over the last few weeks, the CMA Fest and sporting events and all that. I, I was curious from your perspective, what what has it been like? What have you been hearing from the fans during this whole time? And are you kind of glad that that's over? Uh, I mean, it's you obviously I'm, I'm not necessarily on social media a ton. I thankfully I'm not on Twitter. I've been, yeah, obviously people are, people are interested and people are excited about the pro, yeah, the possibilities of everything's going on in different teams and our team and everything. That's why we love the sport and the fans are excited. And I think for me, it's just been about preparing as, as always, obviously after the season, we did enjoy ourselves a little bit, especially that, that trip to Europe with the soccer game was, was unbelievable. That was a great experience. But after that, it's just been pretty much the, the normal mindset, just back to work, back to the gym, back on the ice and just trying to prepare to, to show up as, as good as possible as, as always in camp. And I mean, at the end of the day, this, this has been going on, but at the same time, my life's been going on in the background, you know, trying to prepare just like I would for, for any season. All right, we'll go to Emma Healy at the Tennessean next. Hi, David, this is a question for you. Um, uh, obviously adding Ryan McDonough was a big deal and now um, re-signing Phillip is also, you know, big for your roster as well. Um, but what's next for you in terms of roster movement and how set are you in the current roster that you have now? Uh, as I said, we just got back from uh, Montreal where we had all our pro and amateur scouts there uh, in the room right beside me. Now I have all our 
our pro scouts who've been in uh, yesterday and will be here all this this week. So we're going through uh, every team. Today is the last day for making qualifying offers. So there, you know, that'll be really important to look at, see who's not qualified. And then uh, again, uh, there's a number of free agents out there that, you know, us and other teams could possibly be interested in. And so if we have that opportunity, we certainly would like to uh, uh, strengthen our team and we'll see what uh, these next few days uh, bring to the Predators. But we're all here and we're, we're, uh, we're working at it. We're just trying to get some, some ideas out there. We'll go to Kayla Anderson. Hey, Phil, congrats. Um, David had mentioned just the legacy word. You you saw it with Pecorine. You've obviously seen what Roman has done there, assigning his contract, and now you're here for the long term. What does that word mean to you? And what do you feel like you need to do individually as a player um, to keep that going over the next few years and improve always as a player, as I'm sure that you want to do? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, it mean, means a lot. I've only played for for this franchise, and now it looks like that would be the plan for yeah for for the rest of my career. I mean, obviously, I don't think I'm done at, at 36, but we'll see. And if so, like David said, we might have to have another discussion for for another extension. But in the meantime, like I said, we're just going to try to for me personally on the ice to try to yeah bring my heart and soul to the game every day. I think that's something that I've gotten yeah better and stronger. I've improved for the most part every year I played for this team and and I'm not yeah I'm looking to continue that obviously and on the individual standpoints like like David did mention obviously there's been there's been a yeah production so far and if that production continues still yeah it'd be cool to see my name among yeah I mean at the top of those lists like we're talking about but at the same time it's it's about winning and we all know at this point we have all been close you know with, with the guys you mentioned like Pekka and Roman and, and at the end of the day the only thing we're we're missing unfortunately Pekka is not going to be a part of it but the only thing we're missing is the is the Stanley Cup and that's that's the only, that's the main driver for for all of us I mean that's the motivation in the summer that's when you try to get better for and individual stuff is is fun and all but at the end of the day I I want to sit sit back in in the couch and uh, look look at a Stanley Cup ring and that's that's my ultimate motivation go to Chris Harris next yeah, this question is for Philip. First, congratulations. And secondly, uh, this is uh, kind of piggybacking off of Robbie Stanley's question. Uh, in your talks about, you know, the team trending in the right direction and uh, looking towards the Stanley Cup, w was that part of your negotiation at all, wanting to make sure that certain steps were taken, Phil? Uh, not on the daily basis. I wouldn't say, like I said, we, I don't think we, either of us, want or should talk about the, the details of this negotiation. But at, at the same time, like signing a player like Ryan McDonough is obviously something that that any player would like your team to do. You know, getting him on board is is one of those key parts that that definitely definitely does play in. And and like I said, we want to have as strong of a team possible, whether that's coming from the draft or from free agency or even in trades like this. I, I have the full confidence in in the management that, that that's going to be done. And and yeah, like I said, clearly it's been working well. We had so many guys coming in, making huge tributes uh, contributions to the to the team last year from from within. I mean, we didn't make any big, super big splash of moves, I guess but everybody came in from, from either Milwaukee or, or others, other ways and made a great contribution, which put this team in, in, the, in my opinion, the right direction. And that's something that we, that we have to keep building on. Go to Kayla Anderson. 